What going on? What's good? What's good? Should I do it? No. <laughs> we gotta be civilized, bro. We're civilized human beings, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's good with y'all, man? What's up, man? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. We're in the clutch. Hey. <laughs> Back at y'all with another video today, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, mukbang, man. A uh, mukbang. It's been a minute oh, since we, baby. we've done a mukbang, you know what I'm saying? Let's we went brighten this up, baby. We went cost effective, got us some McDonald's, you feel me? You feel me? Crazy. <laughs> you not gonna say bless you? Dang, my guy. Dang, I my guy. I better this year, I, I guess not. Anywho, Anywho you're right. I ain't no boys was gonna hit you with the bless you, man. That definitely was in the seeds. What's good with y'all, man? That definitely was a seeds. So, we posted on our social medias some Q&As. You feel me? And basically, whatever questions y'all got for us, we gonna answer them. Huh? We gonna probably answer some uh, very controversial questions. Oh. So, um... And we kinda sipping, so y'all gonna get the straight, honest truth. Mm -hmm. I didn't even really, I didn't eat today. I only had oatmeal this morning. I had some chicken. That's bro. it. That was early. This morning, I didn't eat. Oh man! What time is it? It's seven. seven this lettuce look real. Look like some real lettuce on this. The tomatoes look real too. Yeah, dang! All right, okay, McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I don't want no tomatoes on my shit. Big man look bougie like I do. You looking real on the commercial, bro? I got me the uh, yep. the what's this? What's this shit called? I forgot the name of this damn. Quarter thing. pounder. Yeah, I got the quarter pounder dude. Not the regular one. So I spent like an extra 50 cents for this shit. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? That's Why you took the tomatoes off? I don't like tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it came with tomatoes. I heard they help guys. They help what? Never mind, I'll talk to you. Anywho. <laughs> so let's check out some of these questions real quick. You know what I'm saying? So I got the Big Mac and I got a double cheeseburger. I bought one, another one for Ross in case he wanted it. Oh, appreciate it. So, Man, so kind. Cause he was supposed to bring me out hot and spicy, but you know. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. The first munch. Let's, let's check on I, I thought we were gonna do better this year. Ah, uh, let's check on the uh, YouTubes. Let me get some new fries. They're cold, because, you know, we've been waiting for a while. What are your, what are you, or what are you guys, what are your guys, hey, y'all gotta type these better, bro. But I, I, I kinda get what you're saying. What are you guys' New Year's resolutions? From Brandon Lee. Start with you. What's your what's your New Year's resolution for 2020? Um, my attitude. Mm -hmm. No, it's my attitude always. Mm -hmm. Not letting people control my energy. Mm. I want to be 100% controlling my energy this year. If I don't have to be around negative energy, I won't. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna be very direct. Okay. Never rude, but direct. So if you got a problem or if you got any questions, any advice, I'm gonna tell you how I honestly feel. Mm -hmm. So, no sugar coating this year. I feel like it's a lot of people that be sugar coating shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm the type of person where I ask you if I ever have a problem or anything at all. If it ever came to that nature. Mm -hmm. But not everybody like that. So, I'm about protecting my energy. So okay. if I know I'm gonna be ignorant in the situation, I'm just not gonna put myself in that situation. Yeah, everybody smart. can't handle that. That's yeah, smart. Uh, for me, my truth. Uh, I want to say, stand true to my grind. This year, I got some goals that I'm trying to obtain, and I want to obtain them. You feel me? So, you know, I, you know, I think we all have those moments where sometimes we can slack off and be a little bit lazy. Um, I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible this year because. The things I'm trying to get done on my personal channel, just within my personal life as well. I want to, you know, reach those goals. So I don't want to talk about it, say, oh, this year, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. I just want to do it. I just want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And see the results afterwards. You feel me? So that's really my New Year's resolution. Um, pretty simple, straightforward, nothing too crazy. I ain't trying to change my lifestyle for just a whole nother year. I just want to enhance what I was working on last year. You feel me? So that's what we got going on for 2020 as our New Year's resolution. I'm good with that. 
<clears throat> check out another one. Okay. <clears throat> Don't be one of those people that's like, oh, new year, new me. Yeah, yeah, nah, 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 I stick away from that. Uh, what inspired you to do YouTube vids? Shout out to Adrian Ingram. Shout out to Adrian. Mm -hmm. Um, well, when I started the channel, I wanted to, well, to be honest, I used to always create videos, like way back in the day. I actually wanted to create a YouTube in high school, <clears throat> or right out of high school. Mm -hmm. But um, that's back when I used to watch Soulja Boy, like vlogging mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I was like, damn bro, I wanna vlog. I could do fun shit like this. Me and the homies is just as crazy, if not crazier. Especially back then, like single dub. But um, we was doing a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> so, but yeah, just watching people vlog and stuff like that, and like the Deshaun Raw of YouTube, um, when he used to do the, the rap battles and shit like that, like all that shit I used to want to do. Mm -hmm. So it inspired me to want to um, write short stories and skits. So that's actually why we even made the channel in the first place, is to do skits and short stories only. Mm -hmm. We just so happened to stumble upon doing reactions when we checked out a harsh one video. I think that was our first video, mm -hmm. 10,000 views. Yeah, that was my first video I made 10,000 views, honestly. Yeah, but it hit a thousand first, and we was like, yeah. oh shit. Mm -hmm. And we was turning up. And damn, I wish I still had that snap. But then um, when we hit 10,000 views, we was really turning up. Like, we damn near had a party. Just for 10,000? Just for 10K views on one video. I mean, that just shows you how humble we are, how much we, mm -hmm. you know, appreciate every little milestone. But yeah, that's kind of like the beginning. That's why. I made the channel. Mm. I just want all the homies to be a part of something, man. I, like, our lives are literally, like, interesting. We all funny. We all got our own personalities. And, um, yeah, that's really why I because I wanted everybody to be able to see the comedy just within our, our friends and just, like, the, the obstacles. All right. <clears throat> that's pretty much the truth on what, how the channel even started. Got us a very spicy question are y'all yeah, off of Eminem's nuts yet all right King Fitz all right bro you want to go there let's go there okay. first and foremost nobody's on Eminem's nuts we can, we like lyricism we like good rap we like music that makes sense is cohesive it's not BS in fact you may not know this, Mr. Fitz. Uh, when we, I think we did, it was a track a couple years ago off of Eminem's album. <clears throat> His album that uh, a lot of people weren't a big fan of. I'm, I forgot the name of it. Oh, Revival. So, I remember we were checking out a track and oh yeah, we weren't a big fan of Revival. We I just heard it. Yeah, I think you and Brandon heard it. Yeah. And I wasn't a big fan at the time. Brandon wasn't a big fan or whatever. And we got hate for that. We got, oh, Revival is such a great album. You guys didn't give it a chance, yada, yada, yada. If we on this man's nuts, anything he produces, anything he dropped, we would just be co-signing it to the fullest. We'd be sitting up there saying it's the best thing we've ever heard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, Eminem not even my number one favorite rapper. Yeah, we expect so, what he's done for the game. We listen to his classic stuff, of course, and some of his newer releases. We know he's a dope MC. No one can take that away from him. We just know Nick Cannon not better than him. Yeah, that's just fact. So, even, I mean, this may be unpopular opinion, MGK, even though he had a nice disc, it's not better than Eminem. Let's just keep it 100. There's a lot now, of people. Honestly, Eminem diss track wasn't even all, like, it wasn't even crazy. No, it wasn't. It was uh, like, I don't know why niggas be capping, but MGK actually had a nice diss track. No, MGK. Which was, I probably listened to more than Kill Shot. Yeah, MGK diss so, track was nice for what it was. I don't ride nobody to. If I like something, I like it. If I don't, I don't. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Yeah, but, so we just had to address that Mr. Mr. Uh, Fitz, my guy. Well, we appreciate you for coming. Yeah, no, we, we appreciate the nonsensical question, but yeah. Jackass. <laughs> All right, let's get into another one. Hmm. Got some good ones. We're gonna wait to the to the end to get into the juicy, juicy questions. We're just gonna try. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Is Dub short or something? I don't, I don't. Hmm? Someone asked, are you short, bro? Uh, is Dub short for something? Is Dub short for something? Okay, my Dub, bad. Dub, W, short for my first name. Oh, they want to know the government. Ooh, okay. Which is Warren. Okay. Like Warren Moon, Warren Sapp. Oh, my favorite, Warren Buffett. Okay. Um, I think me and him going to <laughs> match a bank account soon. <laughs> that nigga's stupid. We had a friend of ours, Grayman. Had a juicy comment. <laughs> We're gonna get to the, the nitty gritty questions, but yeah, that's that's what dub is uh stands for. Yeah, my friend name, so I just went dub. Um let's check out another one. Hmm. Is there anything that you were doing in your younger age, i.e. sports, art, debate team, that that you were good at that you wish you'd never stop doing? Hmm. I was pretty cool at football. Football? Um, I never really <clears throat> stayed to it, um, to be honest with you, because I had flat feet. Mm -hmm. Something else y'all probably don't know. So I used to hate running. No coincidence. But no. <laughs> I was really good in a uh, band. We, we all did a music. Mm -hmm. um, even though I stopped that too, like in middle school. But yeah, um, that's how me and Ross met. Mm -hmm. Oh, how did we meet? It as someone, um, someone hadn't even asked that yet. That's one thing. <clears throat> we met um, uh, in our middle school band at Dollar. We both mm -hmm. went to Dollar Middle School. Shout out to Dollar. Mm -hmm. I'm Clark. Um, so we both uh, played in the percussion section. Mm -hmm. He was on snare originally, yep. and I was on the bass drum. And then I went <clears throat> afterwards to play snare, and I took his spot. Thank God I'm in this video, cause boy, no, you're not. I'm in this video. <laughs> Hell no, I'm in this car. I'm still in this video. <laughs> to my spot, cute. Still took his spot. He was older than us. He was in uh, seventh grade. We was in the sixth grade. Cute. But nah, really um, so but nah, um, well, so we made the band. Um, we, so we, all of our friends are actually pretty good at music. Mm -hmm. Um, like everybody, I can, not everybody, but most but of the people that we like really, majority of them are good at fuck music. with. They musically inclined, either they sing or they they played in the band. But uh, same here. That'd probably be the one thing I stopped after college. There's a reason why, okay. There was a reason why I stopped up to college. Um, I'm not gonna go into the logistics of that, but uh, Ooh, my- Juicy uh, story time. My freshman year was probably the last year I played uh, in the session session. Um, honestly, I could have probably kept that going, but once certain things happened, I was like, ah, I'm good. <laughs> That's really what it was, like, ah, all right, I'm, I'm good. I'll start way before you. So, but yeah, that's, if there's anything that I, I wish I could have kept going, if things would have ended differently, I probably would have performed at the halftime. Oh, you right. Bowl. I ain't even answered the damn question all the way. I don't know. What if I would have kept doing something? I don't know. Yeah, if I would have kept going, Maybe I may know. not, I would probably be doing YouTube. Or I'd be doing YouTube in a different aspect. Let's say that. So, no, things no, worked no. out. I don't know. But... I was good at a lot of things, to be honest. With you. Not to, you know, <clears throat> toot my own horn. Oh, we got an interesting one. That's on my page. Mm -hmm. On your, uh, yeah, on your, on your Instagram page. Follow Dub the G if you're not on Instagram right now. Uh, I'm trying to be in the video. That's all she said. Who said that? This right. <laughs> Underscore mo. 2010, Mo 2010. Yeah, she tra she trying to be in the video, man. She wanted to start with me. Shout out to Monica. For real? Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Um, she trying to be in the video. Dang, I'm sorry, but we already like recorded. Oh, damn. You, what? you keeping her in the clip? You just gonna reject? What? You gonna reject her offer like that? Live? Nah, but I'm like, okay. we already recording. Bro. You yeah. could be in the video. Yeah. Cool. If there's some magical way where we could just, damn, bro. you know, get you here. Damn. Hey, how about you be in our next, or one of our videos? Damn. How about you come be in our podcast or something? <laughs> this nigga is this nigga messy, so savage, bro. I hang out with messy. This people. nigga is savage. All right, next question. What would you do if you was in the ring with Brock Lesnar? Whoop his ass. 
you really whoop his ass? I whoop Bobby Wilson's ass. You sure about that? Man? I train first. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, let's, add a, add, let's add a caveat to that. Or I train for about this a year. Did yeah, I probably train for it. No, a year? No. He a little out of Nah, bro. <laughs> that nigga can still go, bro. Go. The nigga still got the WWE Championship. He's fighting peons. So, how long do you think I need to train for? I give you eight months. Eight months? The reason why I say eight months. That's a good, that's a reason. Because see, if it's boxing, I give you like six. Yeah, if it's boxing, oh yeah. But he is a UFC fighter. I know he got the hands so in boxing, he, right? He's a professional. He actually went to school for wrestling. Okay, yeah. Right, he can actually I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna take, him, take him away from his, his skill, man. He do his skill. Yeah, that nigga is strong as nah, hell. Give me eight months to see me rock with him. You're gonna have to really work on your defense, make sure he don't get you on the ground, cause nigga huge, bro. So, give you eight I, months of solid training. I'm huge, man. Why well, I get that diet plan, just start bulking up, just lift my waist like crazy. I'll be like, oh dude, from the longest yard. What I'm gonna do is you run. Teach me the football? Run. Kick him in the nuts. Hey, man. Hey, I know so it's. So if Brock doesn't come, you ain't in the store with your girl. You holding hands, taking the shit. Damn. He smack on the ass. Like, ooh, I like that little <laughs> chocolate thunder right there. And for that one second, <laughs> when I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, bro. You got one or two choices. You he can call her eat, chocolate thunder. You can either A, mm. man up. Say, hey, fuck you, bitch ass nigga, or B, run. <laughs> I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the man up, cause I'm with my girl. So if I get my ass whooped, it's like, bro, this nigga is a fucking former UFC champion, and I'm gonna sue his ass. You gonna hear that music, run? Dun dun dun. I'm gonna sue his ass because he can't touch me because it's illegal for him to fight. I'm not gonna be going to sue him, bro. Oh, you goddamn right. You right. You know, I gotta think smarter, not harder. So yeah, uh no, I think about showing nobody, so dudes just smack her on man. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that nigga, but I'm still suing him afterwards because of what happened to you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna definitely be what's good, child. It's your boy Ross back in this. Oh house. no! <laughs> My shit snapped the fuck up. So yeah. And then all you gonna need to do is wait seven more months till I take that nigga in the mat. Then I'm redeemed. Hey, 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 man! Avenge me, my nigga. Avenge me. I'm gonna let the rock train me. <laughs> you gonna need all the help, bro? Cause that thing. You smell. All right, another question, video related. When are you dropping an NBA commentary uh, videos by Chisel Adonis? That. I mm don't -hmm. oh, no, Cause we still gotta finish the regular season, nigga. The next video we gotta do is like 30 plus minutes, and the last video of the regular season. It's 40 plus minutes. We gotta finish that, and then we still got the playoffs. Shout out to the Texans. They play the Bills this Saturday. You motherfuckers better win. I know what's up, bro. Thanks Shout out to the bro. Texans. We play them, so I don't know if we're gonna get, we'll probably try to do the NBA Finals. We'll try to do the NBA Finals when he does the commentary for that, but. Who's doing, like, what games you be doing? Uh, well, mostly he do like the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I remember last year he was doing the playoffs um, and then towards the finals. Like, I think maybe Western Conference, Eastern Conference, I don't think it was. I think he may have did. No, I take that back. He did do like first round, second round. So we'll probably, we'll check out like maybe the last game of each round for each series because that's a lot of games and we don't just want to flood the channel with one particular content. We've yeah, actually been doing yeah, pretty good with the NFL season because this will be the first year we actually went through every single week we went through every single week so we're definitely trying to catch up with that we got two more videos before the playoffs and then we'll get to we probably won't do every playoff game but we'll do like some of the good ones of course we're doing the Texan ones because come on we're biased Whoa. it's Texan oh, come on Whoa. but outside of that um We'll definitely do that. The Western Conference, I said Western Conference, AFC, NFC Championship game, thank you. And uh, the Super Bowl. So that's kind of our chisel done and schedule. I might have a Super Bowl party. Depends. I might go live again. We do All right, so at the last if you, you actually you dress up as a referee. I think we should both be a referee. It depends bro. on who's in it. Because I want to be a referee, bro. 
I want to blow the whistle, bro. Blow the whistle. Flag on the play. <laughs> Bullshit comment was left on our, on our video. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's let's get into some more questions before we get to the nitty gritty. The question that your wife says, "Come on, we're leaving," and your mama says, "Sit down, you sitting or leaving?" Mmm. That's not hard at all. I'm leaving. Yeah, my wife. Yeah. I love you, mama, but when you get married, you know what I'm saying, and your wife gotta be number one. You know what I'm I know this because I'm married. Yeah. Hey, we leaving, baby? Nah, shit. Hey, mama. Put me a to-go plate. Don't mix up the yams <laughs> with the rice. Put me a to-go plate. She ain't gonna do that. And I'ma go. I will talk to you tomorrow. You know what? Blondie gonna get everything in the world. She's gonna definitely kick you off the world. I'm surprised no one asked any questions about that. Y'all about Blondie? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Y'all ain't asking the real questions. How, how long y'all have known each other? So we met each other when I was in the sixth grade, he was in the seventh grade. Yeah, so. That's a long time. <laughs> we ain't gonna do math? You're not gonna do the math? Nope. <clears throat> mm. So that's what, 2000 and, so I was in high school, 2006, 2007. My freshman year was 2005. At high school? Mm-hmm, freshman year. So I met you in 2003. Damn. 17 years? Mm-hmm. Mm. 17 years, bro. <clears throat> it's been a long 17. A couple of them we was we separated, not by like beef or anything like that. We just we lost contact with each other. Yeah, I he was living his life. I was I doing care. college college life. And then we reconnected. And it's funny how we reconnected. Funny thing is. I think you added me in a group chat. Chill out, man. Don't act like I was the one. You reached out to me, probably. No, I remember this vividly. Cause you added me in the group chat. Randomly, was, negative. No, we. You added me, Pinson. There were some other people in this group chat. Who was Pinson? Pinson. The homie, Pinson. Yes. You stupid. You so, saying it like they know who the nigga is. Well, Pinson, one of our homies, <clears throat> we known him since middle school as well. Shout out to Pinson. Shout out to you, bro. So you added me in the group chat. We was chatting it up. Like everybody was in there. And it was right around Christmas time, and you basically was like, um, "I'm sorry, she wanted." To oh no, that's cool. Ain't tripping. Uh, she, you was basically like, um, "You was having a kickback at your place where you were staying at before the other place. You was having a kickback, and I was like, you know what? Let me show up. I hadn't seen him in forever. Let's see what's going down. Kick it with these guys. I'll send you an invite or a group." No, you sit there and group me. Mm. Yeah, you put it like, hey, I'm having a kickback. Everybody's welcome to come. I was like, shit, I haven't seen him in years. And that's how everything started rolling, bro. It was meant for us to link up again. It was a blessing from above. So, yeah, so. yeah man, that's that's how it happened. So, we have 20 minutes. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty, bro. We got to get to the nitty gritty. We got the nitty gritty? Hold on, we got, I know we got more questions than that, bro. <laughs> Which, which hip hop album was better? 2014 Forest Hill Drive or Good Kid Mad City? Good Kid Mad City. Yeah. <laughs> Forest Hill Drive, good, but Good Fire Kid Mad City. Hell, but yeah, Good Kid. Good Kid. Man down. Where you from, my nigga? Fuck who you know. Where you from, my nigga? Where your grandma stay at home, my that nigga? Holly Barrett or Holly Bro. Poetic Justice. Uh, the Recipe with Dre. Oh, bro, that album was so fucking. That's I tried to, album. I tried to freestyle on that. that what beat. recipe? Smoking weed with you, cause you told me to. I smoke with you, cause you told me to. I got that women weed and weather, women weed and weather, women weed and weather. Women, what y'all know about that? Shot. If y'all know about that song and Good Kid, Mad City, comment down below, man. We need to get to the nitty gritty because we're 20 minutes in. They want to know. Come on, y'all the homies. We're going to put a bunch of ads on here. Y'all going to watch it because y'all support us, right? Let's get to the nitty gritty. <clears throat> I'm trying to get that. <clears throat> we're trying to quit our job, man. Let's get to the nitty gritty, bro. Hold up. Come on, bro. What a One question more question. Thing yet. One more question, bro. Uh, they going to be having it on here. All right. One more question, bro. We gotta get What's to the, the questions. 
I know it was a bunch of questions on there, like. Uh, no, a I'm lot of them are the same thing. <laughs> a lot of them are the, the the juiciest of questions that niggas want to know. A lot of them are the same thing. So they say where the fuck? Yeah, you know. It's Brandon. Yep. Where's Brandon? Alright. I don't fucking know. <laughs> That's the short answer. No, I'm just kidding. That's the short. I'm gonna uh, be honest with you. I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you. I told be you. Honest, bro. It's a new year. I'm coming more direct. Let me put this in the trash. Let me put some right. space. Yeah, I'm gonna put some space over here, man. Oh, you gotta pull me up too. We yeah. gotta pull up. Oh, no, it's, we it's gotta pull on. You got something yeah. now, right? You drunk it all? Oh. Hey, babe. We got some more, Paul. We keeping this in. Yeah, that's good. Can you pass it to me, please? Cause he about to get real. I'm about to stay on this shit forever. No, we're not. But we need to address this so that way. Address the monkey in the room. That way, boys don't have to ask this question repeatedly. No more. <laughs> Come in like Bird Man. I don't want you to disrespect me. No more. All three of y'all. All. All 276,000 of y'all. No more. After we address it here, this will be it. And we will link you to this video. Anytime you ask shit. Even then, I ain't linking. You better come find the shit. Because we already did a video on it. The boys ain't want to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that was like eight months ago. <laughs> it don't matter. It was eight, it was it was eight months. months ago. And no, we really didn't give them an update because we didn't have an update ourselves. But at this present moment, we're waiting for the liquor to come in. So we can let y'all know what's going on. But in the meantime, in between we'll time. what we can do. And I'm going to hit y'all with something juicy at the end of this. Because y'all the homies, if you stay to the very end. I got a good one. Got a good question. If someone offers you a million dollars, but you have to watch one movie for 24 hours straight, what would it be? One movie for 24 hours straight? One movie, 24 hours straight, you get you a meal. Uh, cool meal. See, The Lion King or Space Jam? Mm, that's a good one. I could watch, mm, Lion King, Space Jam, Lion King, Space Jam. You gotta choose though. Uh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, you got some? Yeah. Lion King? Uh, me personally? Me personally? <laughs> 24 hours. Why you get like that? Me personally? Hmm. What's a movie that I, I just, I love? You know what? Underrated movie, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I can literally watch that mm. all day, every day, 24 hours. Give me my motherfucking money and don't take no tax out. Oh, you know they gonna take the taxes out. They gotta take the taxes. That's bullshit. So I'm really gonna get like eight hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can still make that shit work. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna trip. Thousand? Hey, what you do you to get that money? Shit, I watch. Yeah, with tax? Mm, yeah, no, I think it's gonna be a little lower than that, buddy. For real? A million? Yeah. Let me Google that shit. I wanna say take it on tax. <laughs> I need to find <laughs> out because I'm living a lot. Let me Google that shit. How? How much tax you pay on a million? Uh, 27%. Six, seven? Seven? What, 700? Yeah, maybe Damn. seven. Damn. All right, so we found out it was, it'd be like- 27%, so I'm thinking- 700,000? Six, seven. Damn, bro, to watch it. I mean, that's still not bad. You just watch the movie all day. Your favorite movie, so. <clears throat> That's a lot of money just to sit there and watch a movie. Oh, nigga, I'll be, cause you know, niggas watch movies, but they really be watching their phone. Yeah. So I watch it for the first time all the way through, and after that, you all got a cheat code, bro. Why don't you just do the damn thing? Watch the damn movie. You ain't gonna watch that hoe all day. You gonna watch it, but you're not gonna watch it. So. I'm, uh, I'm gonna watch it. I so are we gonna get I to the, line. you got the juice. It's not really juice, but. All right, so y'all ready, so. Yeah. So um, question we've been getting, we're having a trill Billy. Where's trill Billy? Trill Billy, trill Billy, trill Billy. Brandon, where you at? I have not heard from trill Billy. The last time I heard from trill Billy, mm -hmm. we got a random text um, mm -hmm. around the time we did the Patreon. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, he hit me and Ross up, he was like, good luck. Uh, on the Patreon because YouTube been tripping. Y'all know YouTube is going through a little situation that it was doing around that October as well, even before that, but really around that time where they were sending us all these, you know, messages about what they was about to do going forward. So mm -hmm. he hit us like all oh, this stuff on the Patreon. Other than that, I hadn't heard from him since uh, a wedding. Me and him was both at. Everything was cool. I don't, there's no beef 
with Trill Billy. Let really is yes, straight. No beef with Trill Billy. Trill Billy decided to take personal time away from the channel um, to deal with some issues that he had going on. Issues that we technically still don't know. So <clears throat> it kind of it does ruffle feathers around friendship because you know I know some things you got to take you know personal and it's like certain things you just got to keep to yourself. But from a lot of stuff that we've already known and been through, it just was kind of unfamiliar for it to be so abrupt and like, oh, I just gotta move, I can't say nothing. So, I pray for Trill Billy, I hope everything's going well. If he's watching the video, I hope everything is working out for you. But I can't really follow behind somebody, you know, if we ain't, if I already asked you a couple times, like, what's up, let me know what's up, and we've done that in the past, and you don't wanna tell me, it's nothing I can really do. I have a family of my own, I really don't have to chase, I don't have time to chase grown men problems. Mm -hmm. When I go through my own problems and my own shit and stuff like that, so we're keeping it a buck. A dollar. All right. I know you hear the kids in the background. But let's let's, let's keep editing, it right. Me editing. I'm editing. It. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> so basically, he uh, we invited him to the New Year's Eve get together at Dove's place. Mm -hmm. um, he responded back saying, "Y'all have happy new, happy and safe New Year's. Appreciate the invite, but I won't make it." And that was it. So we, we reached out to him. Uh, I I've even invited him for my birthday around August. Um, mm -hmm. He said he wasn't gonna be able to make it then. So basically, Brandon ain't fucking with us. <laughs> That's really what it come down to, honestly. Um, we we've done all we could do. Like I said, at the end of the day. We're gonna be 100. He quit. That's what we look like. I mean, because to be honest with y'all, we the ones keep talking about Brandon. Brandon don't talk about us. Brandon ain't going on nothing. He posted one little thing on his story. He didn't put it on his page. Mm -hmm. but he was just like, gotta do us a personal issue, blah, blah, blah. Like, he's never addressed y'all that I know of. Mm -hmm. Nobody sending us no screenshots of Brandon responding to them saying anything. Yeah. Brandon sitting here watching y'all do all this, and he's still watching. And he's not saying anything. So while y'all keep on saying, where's Trill Billy? Ask Trill Billy why he not responding to y'all to at least let y'all know what's going on. I mean, I have a very short, you know, patience for other grown men. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I was sitting here, I think we had to do a recording, um, or right after a recording, I found out my grandmother passed away. You know, one of the hardest things that I felt like I ever had to deal with. Mm -hmm. But. I mean, I know everybody's different, so everybody's not gonna react the same to life, but it's just the fact that at the end of the day, I'm still gonna let the homies know what's up. Like, if I felt like I couldn't be part of YouTube no more because of some, because I wasn't. I mean, I, I took some months off, but they knew what was up. Like, I was telling them, like, bro, I'm not really feeling it right now. I'm in a different headspace and, you know, yada, 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 but they knew what was up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I put them, I kept them in, I kept in contact, you feel me? Because I knew, most importantly, it's this is like a job we had together. You know what I'm saying? Like ultimately, this channel was supposed to be for a lot of niggas. Y'all used to see a lot of niggas on this channel. But niggas dwindled away on their own because people got lives. This it was never me, Ross, and Brandon. It wasn't supposed to be set upon anybody. It was only like that because people kind of ventured off into doing their own things. A nigga can't ever say he couldn't have been on here. You know what I'm saying? A nigga can't ever say he don't he don't have to he can't just call him like, hey, I wanna be in one of the reactions. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of our homies got a lot of, they got access. It's, niggas, it's just me and him now because that's the only people that want to do it. You feel me? So, but at the same time, when we hit a million and plus and it's really working for us, it's gonna stay like this. You feel me? So I'm gonna just be 100 with you. Like, I'm not gonna let new people come do anything unless until I feel like, okay, we can get this person to do this and this person and make business moves at that moment. It's business moves. Other than that, this is where it's gonna be at. You feel me? Outside of the podcast and the skits and stuff like that. But um, at the end of the day, man, uh, we kept things going because we we didn't want to stop the channel. We didn't want to quit. We didn't want to say, you know what? It ain't the same duo or the dynamic that we built mm -hmm. that built on his own. Let's stop. Nah, we was like, bro, let's keep going. Let's go harder. Let's continue to show people that we fuck with them. We appreciate them. Because at the end of the day, I mean, what y'all want us to do is just say fuck it. Because one person not here. Whether Ross here or I'm not here, you've seen us where, hell, I was in the hospital one time and I did a video by myself. Mm -hmm. YouTube probably took it down because it was a Drake and Travis Scott joint, but Ross did a video by himself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, 
and then Ross had his issues at first, and he he was almost out of here too. You feel me? But he was communicating, and whatever he was going through, it was like, hey, bro, I'm not gonna be dealing with that no more. But we are able to come together, talk it out, and boys are able to be on it. But if you can't do that, and you can't even share why, it's nothing we can do, man. I can't, I can't chase nobody that don't want to open up. You feel me? True. So it's, but at the end of the day, it's all love. Again, I'm gonna protect my energy. I'm gonna make sure my energy is. It's good, and, mm -hmm. you know, we not no mean people, bro. Like, no. we real chill. I mean, just, I'm trying to tell you, bro, the homies can hit us right now and say, hey, man, I want to be in one of them reactions. Cool, nigga, you know the Addy, like, come through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you can't, I mean, I don't, I'm not chasing people. We doing our own thing. We trying to get somewhere. We trying to keep going because y'all supporting us. You feel mm -hmm. me? And, you know, we want to make sure we keep, you know, we got to keep rocking for y'all. We can't let nobody stop the train. You feel okay. me? And that's the strongest thing that I like that we got going is we not letting nobody stop the trunk. Yep. So this is so much to say, even though I said we weren't gonna address it that wide, but we had to be real with y'all, man. We had to give y'all a buck one hundred. We couldn't sugarcoat it because we not no fake YouTube. We don't know how to do all that extra shit that other YouTubers may be doing. And it's it's just what it is. It is what it is, or it ain't what it ain't. <laughs> so uh, I, we can only give it to y'all straight, bro. So, yeah. Appreciate y'all yeah. checking us out, man. Comment down below Whoa. if y'all's rocking with this mug, man. If y'all want us to do more of these throughout the years, uh, let us know, man. We definitely will. For let sure. us know. Oh, so should we hit him with a bonus? Hit him with the bonus. All right, so if you made it this far, get you a little smidget of a bonus. We may be doing like a little type of war situation. You feel me? I'm just going to... Rest the peace pops, but don't tell nobody, you feel me? <laughs> we might be doing a little Nerf gun battle, you feel me? And you know what I'm saying? Might, you know, 2020 looking kind of bright, you know what I'm saying? We might be setting up to do something like that at the end of this month. Let us know if y'all rock with you feel me? Because we're going to be trying to venture into a lot of different things while keeping our main content. So mm -hmm. if you want to see in the clutch in different lights, different zones, hit them likes, you know what I'm saying? And let us know that you want to see us rock and do and broaden our range. Good sure. show. All right, I feel like that was a goddamn enough talking. Yeah, um, we damn, we finished the food a long time ago. So. A long time ago, I'm about to damn near be done with my second drink. Yep, so we appreciate y'all rocking up with us, man. And uh, that's it, we ain't got nothing else. Nothing else, nothing else to say. Comment down below, uh, start a conversation, let us know what y'all thoughts are. Uh, if y'all want us to do another mug bang, talking about some more shit, if your questions weren't answered, Put some questions down below on this video. We might be doing it in our next one, babe. For sure. All right. But like, subscribe, follow your boys on Instagram, if I don't know nothing else. Follow me on personal channels. And also follow your boys on Patreon. We're in the clutch. Already. Everything lit. Everything lit. The bitch better take a shot. She better not spit. The back will lit. The money we get. And you on the clown shit. But she know that we hit, ooh